Unless we are building a static site, our application will definitely need some database interactions. This can be simple crawled operations or complex database transactions. Adonis.js provides an expressive way to interact with database in our application through its ORM called Lucid and a query builder. Unlike in Adonis.js 4, Lucid is not installed in our application by default, so we need to install it. npm install at Adonis.js slash Lucid. While Adonis.js 5 is in preview, all its packages have been tagged alpha, so we need to install the alpha version of Lucid at alpha. Once installed, we need to set it up. For that, we'll be making use of the invoke command node is invoke at adonis.js slash lucid. Amongst other things, this will create a database.ts file inside the config directory. Update the .env file to include database connection details. Register the provider inside the Adonis rc.json file and update the ace-manifest.json file inside the build directory to include commands for creating lucid models as well as migrations and other migration commands. Before we can start interacting with a database in our Adonis.js application, we need to first set up the database we want to use. Out of the box, Adonis.js supports a handful of databases such as MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, Oracle, MSSQL and SQLite. In this course, we'll be using MySQL. So let's install the MySQL driver for Node.js. npm install MySQL. Let's take a look at the database.cs file. We can see that the MySQL config details are pulled from environment variables. So let's update the .env file with our database details. So we'll change the DB connection to MySQL. My DB user is root and my password is blank. Then my database which I'll be using for this course is tax east which I have created behind the scene.